welcome back to another Veggie Friday video. I'd heard of Hasselback potatoes and Hasselback sweet potatoes. It's where you take your potato and you slice it really thinly in multiple areas and you can stuff it with garlic or butter or herbs and then you roast it. I'd never heard of Hasselback butternut squash until just recently. So I decided to try it and here's how it turned out. You start by peeling your butternut squash. I just use a regular vegetable peeler, but you could do this using a knife as well. Once you get it all peeled, you cut it in half and you take the seeds out. You can discard those, but I roasted them because they're a yummy little snack. So you take out the seeds and then you put some olive oil on your squash and season it with salt and pepper. And we're going to pre-roast it. So I pre-roasted mine at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. This just makes it a little easier to make those little cuts. So after the 15 minutes, you take it out, you make your little slices all along the squash, and then you can season it and stuff it with whatever you like. Here, I just have some thyme and some sage and some garlic powder and a little extra salt and pepper. Then you roast that for an additional 40 minutes and it comes out like this. It starts to separate and it gets buttery. <laughs> Butter nut squash gets very buttery. But you know, I couldn't resist, so I actually did brush on just a little bit of melted butter at the end to make it extra decadent. <laughs> but this would be really good with sun-dried tomatoes or some kind of goat cheese would be lovely in there. And this is how I served mine up. Really simple and super delicious. This was a really fun and unique way to have butternut squash, especially right now in the winter time. Butternut squash is available here where I live. I would say there's a little hack. So to help you cut the butternut squash so you don't cut all the way through, on each side of the butternut squash when it's on your cutting board, you can put down either some wooden spoons or some chopsticks on either side of the squash so that way when you cut down the knife won't go all the way through the squash. I used that hack and it worked really well for me. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you try this recipe and I'll see you next time.